Hello everyone and thank you for joining me, V, on, you know, V loves to talk or whatever you want to say, Xenobis. I'm all Xenobis, Stoner V, whatever you want to call me. You know, whichever video you may have watched, you may have watched one of my Zen videos. Oh, I'm sorry, I got these dogs in the background barking at me. They don't like me. I guess they don't. They don't it's a, I'm walking on down a trail that's near my house and I am going to the post office to deliver what I do. I also do eBay. So right now I just decided that, you know, I would make a short video on something that happened today to me. And maybe, you know, maybe it could bring some light to people. Maybe they could bring them over here. It could hit their heart. Cause lately I've been seeing, you know, a lot of weird things happening in my neighborhood. And well, last night, or this morning whenever I woke up I found a bottle that has been sitting in my back porch you know my father-in-law left it there and I've been meaning to pick it up well this morning I saw it was busted and the way that it was busted really you know brought some alarming you know made me think a little it's like wait a minute this isn't no normal you know bust it's in my backyard how could a bottle bust in my backyard so I went out to do further research and I find out it's been busted by a bullet. So, cause if it was a BB gun, eh, it would only make like a little hole. I used to have a BB, BB gun as a kid, you know? So I was like, should I call the cops or should I not call the cops? So I decided to call the cops. So the cops came by around 10 minutes after I called them to give them a brief of what was going on. So the cops comes over to confirm what I had said over the phone that I found, you know, a bottle that was blown up by a, a bullet in my backyard. I mean, it's like not even like a foot away, probably less than a foot away from the house. So, you know, I was like, so I said, well, I'm only calling you officer to like bring awareness to the neighborhood. And he's like, well, do you know any kids in the neighborhood that could be have a BB gun? And I'm like, okay, he wants to throw the BB gun at, you know, the BB gun. And I'm thinking like, well, officer, you, you know, if a BB gun is actually going to blow up a, or even bust a bottle, it has to be in a pretty close range. So it would have to be my neighbor. So as the time when I'm greeting the officer, walking him up the front yard, and once I get to my side gate, my neighbor comes and says, what's going on, neighbor? Because he sees me walking the officer to my backyard. He's like, whoa, what's wrong to you, neighbor? And so I go, oh, I found a busted bottle on my porch. And my neighbor goes, well, we've had several other incidents in the area, which I had no idea. And so he tells us the story, both me and the cop, and he tells us that several windows on the front porch or actually in front of us in the house in front of us have had their windows replaced from people that have shot their windows and also there was a car that was that had its its window busted in the back so that kind of brings awareness of making you think of where you live that you don't know that this is going on so i'm hearing all this going like okay i think it's time to move out of my neighborhood because it's not being safe of people having to replace windows and now cars being broken into and busted out windows from gunshots so you know so today with that said i just want you to guys know like there's no reason to be have these guns out especially now oklahoma has this you know license to carry an open carry thing we can actually carry an ak-47 or not an ak-47 but you know you can carry a shotgun around here on your side on your back and i mean it's unreal i mean i haven't seen it per se here in oklahoma myself but i hear that it happens it's like i don't understand we should be making peace not war so we should be loving down neighbor, you know? So once you go out today, especially this time of year, it seems to be hit the heart, you know? It's like, you love down neighbor. And so, you know, not only during this time of year should we be thinking about down neighbor, we should be thinking about down neighbor all the time. You know, no judgment, take people for who they are, you know, and everything like that. So, I mean, hopefully you can maybe take this story and see like, you know, start 
maybe having a little more patience with people sometimes it takes that because i seem like i you know we everybody is different and we all have those annoying little things that we do to each other i know i do because i annoy my wife at times and you know but we're it's just part of me and that's part of them so take patience with other people and try not to hold that anger if you have anger and you seem that you can't get along talk about it that's what we i mean only way relationships works is from talking so if you have feud with somebody go and talk to them you know just just go and talk to people get to know one another just don't get to know each other like oh hi how you doing no get to know them. like hey what did you do when you were younger what do you enjoy doing what's your favorite color you know just stuff like that to get to know each other get the conversation started what do you do i mean well really what you do for a living isn't what you do for yourself because most people you know they do their work and that's not them you know so you really can't ask like what you do for a living i don't ask that question now for whenever i meet somebody so but you know get to know the person you know right next to you i try you know so you know just spread love spread love out there all right guys i just wanted to do and just give you a little talk and from <clears throat> what i learned today you know, it's like, yes, I know my neighborhood, but I gotta show, gotta set an example. And maybe by me setting an example of love, it'll spread away, it'll spread to others. And maybe all this little chaos that's happening in the neighborhood can stop. You know, you know, I mean, they say, you know, peace can, you know, love and peace, right? So let's, let's set an example and show happiness toward others so that way they get rid of that anger that they have smile at somebody you just never know that when you meet somebody for the first time show them that smile show them how happy you are you know i mean yes sometimes we don't have happy days but there's something that makes you happy so show that think of that today all right guys so i'll talk to you later and i'll come back for other videos later on all right so we'll be in a different topic next time all right guys Bye bye and have a wonderful Thanksgiving and upcoming Christmas. Um, oh, we're going to see you before Christmas because I'm going to tell you everything that we have in store for California. I have many things for this trip that's going to be awesome and I know you guys are going to love it. So, all right, guys, I'll tune, talk to you later. Bye bye. And hopefully, I can make a video tomorrow with the family. All right, bye bye. <laughs>